Um, tell me exactly what was your role in this book? Uh, my role was uh, more of a researcher and a ghostwriter. Explain it to me. Yes, because these people were telling their story mm -hmm. and they were narrating their story orally to me. And what I did was to put it in, in writing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you call it a ghostwriter? A ghostwriter, yeah. Okay, that's mm -hmm. interesting. Um, it's very interesting men, um, very inspiring people that we listen to today. Okay. Is the, um, what, 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 the, what did this bring, what, what did this book bring out in you? What was, what was the, the biggest emotion that you got from this book? Oh, Lindsay. Because it is an emotional book and it's an emotional yeah. time. Yeah. Hey, you know, um, now I'm looking at, um, Number one, talking to the June 76 students mm. uh, and getting to understand what they went through. Yeah. Remember, I'm not a June 76 student, so I was 76 I was working, so yes. I'm not experienced in that. Yeah. But tapping into that, talking to them about that, yes. uh, that really moved me and... Um, yeah, that was the most emotional part. And you know, the funny thing is, a lot of these people, it was for the first time mm. they were tapping into that emotional area. Of themselves as well. Yeah, when, oh. uh, for instance, I interviewed Enos with mm. them. And uh, we, we, I think we, non-stop, we talked mm. for four hours. Wow. And the subjects that were coming there were the first time they were talking about. And 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 Anne was saying, you know, Winnie, it's funny. We've actually never spoken about this as a family. That's incredible. And yeah. it was a long time ago. Yeah. So. Yeah. We, we sat four hours non stop. Mm -hmm. And you'd already decided to do the book at that stage? Oh, yes. That's, okay. that's when I was doing the, 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 you know, the, the research and the, way, the interviews. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So very emotional. Because I read, when I read this book, I got emotional. So. Okay. So okay. that's why I was actually asking you, it must have been much more mm. from you actually speaking to the people okay. and finding out more about them. Yeah. The, somebody said something interesting, he said rewriting history. All right. Um, that history needs to be corrected and the book is actually contributing towards that. Mm -hmm. um, tell me a little bit more about that. How does this book rewrite Write history? Write the history. Mm. Uh, you know, on uh, w w one of the former students, Zeke uh, Murati um, said, what we, the, with the book and the celebrations of the 8th of June, what we are trying to do is to put the history of Naledi High mm. in perspective, in relation to what role they play in the June 1976. Because the, the, the uprising happened on the 16th of June. Mm -hmm. But at Naledi High, there was an incident that started on the 8th of June. And that is the part that has been overlooked. And that is the uniqueness of Naledi, Naledi High as a heritage school, is that on the 8th of June, the police came in here and the, their vehicle was banned. And that's the part that has been omitted and a very significant part. And if we don't talk about that, then there's nothing to talk about Naledi, if we don't talk about okay. the 8th, because okay. it was a big incident that, that happened on the 8th of June. So we're trying to put that in perspective in relation to the 16th of June, mm. yeah. Mm. Um, when, I, when I read a book that really moves me, there's normally a, a chapter or a section or even a couple of words that stand out for me. Mm -hmm. Is there, have you got a part in this book which is your favorite? Yeah, uh, there's quite a few. The one that I like moves, uh, it's, it's the one where uh, Inus says, I, sh I shared in the morning, where he relates the response of his father when he, the police started coming to look for him. Oh, yes. And the father said, Sewenze, Sewenze. <laughs> and I could feel the, the heart of a father asking yes. that. So that made me laugh. Yes. And, but, but also it was very emotional as well as Inus was explaining this morning. And um, the second part still on, on, on Inus's chapter is when the Helen Sussman asked in Parliament uh, what happened to the boy that you know wrote that letter and caused trouble at Nalil. And uh, the minister replied and said, "He had the the youth has spirited away." Oh wow! Yeah, and you know what that meant, Lindy? It meant they knew that they are looking for him and he's going to die. Yeah. 
Yeah. Mm. 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 So that's the, the other part. And then the second the, the second part that's more interesting is on the, 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 the chapter that's written by Upanguinya. Uh, mm -hmm. You saw him, the journalist, mm. the Sowetan mm. journalist, where he relates his first day at the school. And his surname is Nguenya. And the salutation of young boys then was, how are you Nguenya? Because you are a lion, you are a big man. And this guy, this guy comes in and says, uh, what's your name, Nguenya? What's your name, Tiger? And he says, I'm Nguenya, I'm Tiger. He says, no man, Tiger, be serious, man. What's your name, Tiger? And so they kept on talking until finally Kotsu Seatlulu realized, oh, he is, his real name is, is Nguenya. But the way, Opa, because you know he's a writer. Mm. So the way he relates that story is very dramatic and, and very funny. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And actually that was the best chapter that was very easy for me to write. Mainly because I was writing, narrating a part that was narrated by a writer. Okay. Yeah, yes. so it was very funny. You could almost relate on Aha. the same level. Yeah. yeah, and very humorous, very humorous. Yeah. That's what I love as well, is, is amongst all the, the, the tension and the drama and the, the pain, is that humor that comes through. Yeah, yeah. Which is, is, makes it so interesting because we're dealing with real life people. Yeah, yeah. So this must have been a wonderful experience for you. Yeah, it To is. walk with these, these people through these mm -hmm. years. You know, this is such a rich sub subject. We've gone through history, we want to correct history. We're on the right path. We've had all these interviews with these fascinating people. You've written the book. Mm. Ghost written the book. Um, where do we go to from here? Uh, from here, as you know, Lindy, um, first of all, with the Naledi High Book, there's going to be a series around this subject because, as you know, we have 17 authors profiled in the book. So we, and they cover different subjects. So we're going to group these authors and create a dialogue, a series of dialogue around different subjects as we did in the morning. But uh, as a whole, as you know, I've written, this is the fourth dialogue that I've actually mm. written. Yes. So the series now uh, is continuing the series. Well, one of the immediate series that we're going to do is to talk about South African cuisine. And do you about the dialogue yeah, about your passion. Aha. Uh -huh. So yes. yes. So the, the series of dialogue is taking place as you can see even from here. Yes. It's, it's it's quite a series. We have about four books on, on different dialogues. Mm. So the, the, the dialogue begins and the series continues. Yeah, yeah. So yes. And that's so one of your with food dialogue is one of your favorite subjects, yes. isn't it? Yes. So yes. we're going to be continuing with, with the dialogue. With the Eunice, yeah. with the Eunice dialogue. Yeah. Yeah. And taking this book further, obviously. Yes, yes, yes. I can't wait to see them and I wish you all the best. Thank so you. It sounds like a long term project. Yes, it is. Okay, well, all the best, Jim. Thank you. 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 Thank you.